Hi, everyone. Thanks for the chance to talk with you today about an important topic. The opportunities created by tech should be open to everyone. That's why Google.org is excited to support the National Digital Inclusion Alliance with a $10 million grant. Over the next four years, this money is going to help lots of Americans get the skills they need to be connected and confident Internet users. The support will let NDIA create a core of digital navigators, helping people in rural and tribal communities access online services. Those digital navigators will be hands-on, trusted guides. You can think of them as go-to tech support people for their communities. They'll help folks access resources that we sometimes take for granted, whether that's having an email address or using online banking, applying for social services, or finding career and business options. We're looking forward to seeing the impact that NDIA and these digital navigators will have, and we're proud to support their efforts to make the internet available to everyone. Thank you. Hello, I'm Suzanne Depoe, test engineer, and also on the Google Aboriginal Indigenous Network Leadership Council. I'm an elder and member of the Confederated Tribes of Chalets, Oregon, my tribes, Tatutni, Southern Cheyenne, and Chippewa. Fun fact, there's a Depot Bay on the Oregon coast named after my great-great-grandfather, Charlie. I'm honored to be here today as Google and Google.org celebrates this $10 million grant given to the National Digital Inclusion Alliance for Rural and Tribal Communities. I'll share a little about myself. I've been in technology for 30 years. I love the challenges that test engineering provides me. And working on the Leadership Council has allowed me to work on critical initiatives, supporting causes such as access to digital skills, MMIW, and 2.5 gigahertz rural tribal window. It's a pure joy of mine to share with students the opportunities in science, technology, engineering, and math, sharing stories of Google's mission to organize the world's information and make it universally accessible and useful. The STEM fields need more engineers, especially software engineers. In closing, it's exciting to see organizations like NDIA working to deliver the internet and online skills to rural and tribal communities. I'm excited to watch NDIA's digital navigators hands-on support to grow as communities invest in digital skills along with connectivity, certain to thrive for years to come. It's important to get involved in this monumental task before us, bringing rural and tribal communities online. Thank you, NDIA. I can't wait to see what the future holds.